For this example, we want to find the equation of the circle with a midpoint of negative 7, 3 and a radius of 1 third. Midpoint or center can mean the same thing. This means that they gave us the ordered pair h, comma, k, and they gave us a radius r. Go back to your standard form of equation of a circle, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. What we would like to do from here is plug in the values that we know. In the equation of a circle, you always want to keep x and y as a variable. So we'll have x, and then for the minus h part, we know that our h value is the negative 7 that's up above. The formula has a negative in it, and so it'll be x minus negative negative 7 squared plus, and then y minus the k value is given as 3. So you square that quantity, and then the r is equal to 1 third. You also make sure that you square that quantity. Now, from here, you want to simplify. x minus a negative 7 is the same thing as x plus 7. Quantity squared plus y minus 3 doesn't reduce. So y minus 3 squared. And then to square a fraction, 1 third squared is the same thing as 1 third multiplied by 1 third, which would equal 1 ninth. So 1 ninth when you're finished. This is the equation of the circle for the information that they gave you. One thing that I will make a note of is if they give you the center, notice that when you plug into the formula, the signs on the center that they gave you change. In other words, they gave you a negative 7 as the h value. When you plug it in, you eventually get a positive 7. They gave you a 3 as the k value. When you plug it in, it ends up being a negative 3. So similar to when we want to find the center, we have to take the opposites. If you are given the center and you're plugging in, you also take the opposite of those signs.